When I first met Mr. Bispham, I was really impressed by his passion. Let's look ready. Let's get, let's get going. Get our grooves on. Ready to learn. But he was quite intimidated by what was ahead of him because the thought of suddenly being in front of 30 year nines is a big old ask. Fight the power. How would you describe your style? Um, 50% stand up and 50% motivational speeches. Wakey, wakey! I want them to sort of dance in and ready to learn and, you know. Mr. Biss fam, you're amazing. OK, right, right, listen up. We are now into our third week of Much Ado About Nothing. We've watched it, we've had a look at a bit of context. Joseph. That is my name. You actually look like one. So are you Jewish? No, I'm not Jewish. OK. So you look Turkish? He actually doesn't. He doesn't look Turkish. He does look like Turkish. He looks <laughs> Mauritian. No, 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 Mauritian. What is it? Cyprusian. He looks like um, Cyprusian, whatever it's called. Right, Cypriot. Oh. Yeah, um, Cypriot. I'm not any of those things. <laughs> uh, right. Year nine. My biggest challenge is that year nine class. The year nine girls are a... Um, a force of nature. Girls. It's only banter. And it is I know, banter. I know, I know it's only banter, but this is not the time for banter. Sorry. <laughs> this is the time for work hard. <laughs> How would the kids describe you, do you reckon? Um, I think that's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a little teddy bear with a bald head and <laughs> with a little bit. It's, just... it's quite funny when he loses his temper. <laughs> he gets really frustrated and he goes, he's stressing. His lips, like, go all in and, like... Even the little... Like... Even his bald bit goes bright red, everything. It's so funny. I think you can tell yeah, for teachers, isn't it? Yeah. Only because they're, like... Jumpy. I, I wouldn't want to be a new teacher. How does Shakespeare portray attitudes to women in Act 4, Scene 1? <laughs> year 9! Year 9! Year 9! Year 9! Year 9! <laughs> I would challenge anyone to stand in front of those girls and not be a little bit daunted. I'm a having a <laughs> nervous breakdown. Like it's mid-morning and Mr Bisfam has his Year 9 class. Yeah. What would you say as a modern person? He joined Frederick Bremer 18 months ago through the Teach First scheme after leaving a career in politics. I became increasingly disaffected with the political sphere. I mean, it's quite self-serving and not really making a difference, which is what I wanted to do. I want you to write your own response to Claudio if you got called a, a rotten orange and a wonton, which means a prostitute. This term, he's trying to engage his year nines in Shakespeare. Teaching Shakespeare is a challenge. They just don't see how it's relevant to them. They don't understand its power. They're just like, what? But if you bring it alive, they'll learn. And I really fundamentally believe that. Yes, so can I? I would like everyone to stand up. Yes! I want you all to direct the most angry response that you can when I say the lines. Give not this rotten orange to your friend. She's by the side and semblance of her runner. Go! What's up? Me, a rotten orange! Are you mad? Any rubbish to me in my face, yeah? Idiotic boy! I'll stab you in your penis. Call me a wanton. Oh! Yeah. You're having me as a wife, innit? Ah! Guys, 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 when it goes wrong, and especially when it goes spectacularly wrong, I mean, your heart plummets. You've worked on this lesson. You've wanted it to be good. You're also concerned about the progress that these kids are showing, and then it falls to pot. Every time I turn my back, something was happening that was quite, frankly, dangerous. I'm waiting for a second, so I think the people are ready to listen. Well, I think we're all ready to listen. I don't at the moment, Tony. Acacia's not ready to listen. We are ready to listen. I don't want to be an ordinary teacher. I don't want to be coming in to get a paycheck. 
rolling out a lesson that I've done before that's going to get them past their exams but not going to inspire any interest. But there's so much I find really challenging about the job. See you later. Mr Bishram, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I don't know how you feel about this, that I need to have come and do an lesson observation. Yeah, fine. Particularly interested in your year nine class. Yeah. Um, that would be... That'd be good. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no. No, that's absolutely fine. Um, brilliant. In the weaker moments, I think, can I do this? If you're not achieving, it's, it's hard to take. <laughs> I've seriously thought about leaving teaching altogether. I'm starting a normal job. Just all exhausting, isn't it? Oh, gosh, I know. I don't know how you do it for such a long period of time. <laughs> what you mean, years and years? Yeah. And I know you guys do it, and it may be like man up, but it takes so much energy out of me. I mean, I'm asleep on the sofa most nights by nine, just lying there passed out. I, I've got no life. It does get, it does get easier. It's Tuesday morning. Mr. Bisfam has just over a week until his observation with Miss Smith and he's bringing a new discipline to the classroom. Last lesson, you had one of the worst lessons you'd had as a group this year. Summer? Sorry, sir. I'm still talking. Today, you are going to be working independently. You're not going to be talking. You are going to experience what the alternative is like. Skin. I don't want your opinions. Why are people talking? I want this year nine class to demonstrate that people learn better when it's more fun and more interactive. But you've got to behave in a way that allows that to happen, otherwise people will tell me that it's not. Is everyone clear on that? Yeah. Are we all clear on that? Yes, yes sir. Good. It was the worst, worst of English. Never again. I said, follow instructions. He didn't even want to talk to any of us. Yeah, it was so grumpy. It was just so unbelievable, like, is this supposed to be this one? And then everyone was just talking about, oh, that might be family problems or something like that. I'll write the connective I'm going to use or the sentence starts I'm going to use that's comparative. So I'll use similarly or furthermore. I think it affects their learning, because if it's something boring, no one's going to want to do it. Now you can all pack up. It's a big day for Mr. Bisfan. He has an observation of his year nine English class with head teacher Miss Smith and assistant head Miss Higgins. I can't remember where I'm sitting. I haven't got seating plans, we changed it not that long ago just because they're annoying me. And I don't remember where they sit. It's terrifying. They've trusted you in their school and they've believed in you. And this is your chance to prove you're doing it right. The results of this observation will count towards the final assessment of his two-year placement. Uh, there's post-it notes. Hi, it's Bonjour. There's post-it notes with your name on, on the seat you're going to be sitting. Sorry about the delay, mister. OK, if you can take a seat with the post-it note with your name on it, please. I will imagine that Mr Bisfam is very nervous about his observation. He's not been teaching for very long, and he's got the head teacher and Miss Higgins, who's probably the most awesome teacher in the school, coming in to observe his lesson. And I would be quite scared of Miss Higgins coming in to watch my lesson. Can I explore what makes successful persuasive writing? That's what we're really looking at. We're going to get the ball involved now. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> um, I am going to pass the ball to someone, and they're going to tell me a persuasive technique. Oh. You're an idiot. You've done that on purpose. Careful, Tamim. Um, emotive language. Emotive language. Do you know what that, Can you remember what that is? I feel that, for him, nervous, but then I know he's going to do OK. So it doesn't work for you? No. But can you see how that might work for other readers? Yeah. The whole class want to, like, put um, effort into it and make him proud, because he's putting all this effort in for us to get our levels up. 
so he deserves that back. Do you find this helpful? Yeah. I like that a lot. We want the other teachers to see that he's a good teacher, cos... He is a good yeah, teacher, Yeah, cos he is. It's just... I don't know. Thank you, in a way. Does it grab your attention in a way of finding out someone's only got one lung? It's the day after Mr Bisfam's observation, and he's come in early to get feedback from Miss Smith. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Do you want to shut the door? <clears throat> OK, are you ready? So we're going to go through a few bits of feedback. I mean, the first thing to remember in terms of an observation is you've only been teaching for 18 mm. months without any training whatsoever. Mm. What I think to work on is things like shouting out. Mm and making sure you do insist on standard English, correct? Yeah. So somebody said, and I think it was Jessica at one point, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's bare long, man. Well, <laughs> as an English teacher, particularly, you, you need should to be, address... You absolutely, it should be... You need to address that. Yeah. Um, however, we wouldn't have known that you were a second-year teacher first at looking at that lesson. No, well, thank okay? you. OK? You know, they're not easy kids. You've got some very, you know, girls who can be very challenging. Mm. However, it's quite evident that they've made quite a lot of progress as a result of the teaching that they've received. One of the questions I asked them was, um, do you like English? All of them said yes. 18 months in, I think that's really good. Mm. Oh, thank you. Where we would judge that lesson as being, well, we would judge that lesson as being a good lesson across the three strands, OK? Um, which, for where you are, yeah. at the good. moment, that's, that's, is, yeah. is phenomenal. I am really excited about the potential that you're showing in the classroom. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I'll see you later. See you Thanks, later, guys. Jane. That's Cheers. brilliant. Good morning, Mohammed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Morning. Good. Across the board. Excellent. I got, got my feedback. Good. Across the board. Excellent. Well done. Cheers. All right. Got my feedback. Got good. Year nine. End of year GCSE style exam. We're going to make our work better than everyone else in the school. Yeah? Connor's like, yeah, of course we are. I think they are beginning to see that I am really doing all this stuff for them. Nathan, you can go. Brian, you can go. Abraham, you can go. Rabil, you can go. Acacia, you can go. Tony, you can go. You know, it's not a battle anymore. It's, a, it's turning into a partnership, which is exciting. Now I gotta cut loose for loose. Kick off your Sunday shoes. There's been some real lows that really made me consider, is this what I want to do? But the idea of moving away from these kids and this school now, it just feels all wrong. Bollocks. My bus. <laughs> 